Hello, this is Craig from bitsbox.co.uk. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to paint an olive skin tone on your miniatures. So, I have one of these Rumble Slam miniatures from the Deadly Divas box set. And this is a game that we're all quite interested in getting into, so you'll probably see some um, games of Rumble Slam in the future on our, on our um, channel. Um, I wanted to use these miniatures to show off and um, paint in a couple of different skin tones as um, obviously these female miniatures have a lot of bare skin on them so we're going to start with like, an olive skin so this is um obviously like a sort of tanned skin tone and um, with some nice green undertones as well so it's, um, there's not many tutorials about on how to paint this sort of skin tone so um, this is sort of new to me as well I'm sort of um just using references and sort of making it up as I go along but um, when it comes to painting, um, if you have some references to follow you can normally sort of just mix the colours up um, accordingly to match and you can sort of just work your way um, from dark to light or start with a mid-tone and go up and down um, we're going to start dark to light so we're going to start with our darkest colour first so we're going to take some Doomville Brown which is a nice um, ready brown and we're going to mix in a little bit of Elysian Green so as I said, um, the olive skin has some nice green undertones. I'm doing about three parts Doom Ball to one part Elysian Green. Now of course this is going to be our darkest colour, so the skin will obviously be a lot lighter than this as we go up. Now this miniature is just attached to an old plastic shot glass. Um, I use a lot of these plastic shot glasses for um, mixing in like PVA glue and stuff like that even mix and paints but they make good little holders for miniatures as well so as you can see it's a nice it's a really nice colour we're getting here mixing the Doomville and the Alyssian Green and this makes a really nice shadow colour for this skin tone so I'm just going to go around and apply it all over this miniature and with skin it's worth, especially on the face, to do a couple of thin coats just so you don't obscure the detail. Okay, with that layer of skin now complete, we can focus on building up our highlights. So for the first highlight, we're going to take exactly the same mix and we're going to add a little bit more of the Elysian Green into it. Um, so it's roughly sort of 2 to 1 now rather than 3 to 1. And I'll also water it down quite significantly as well. So we're just going to slowly build this layer up now. So I'm applying it over most of the skin. This time just leaving the original um, layer in all the, the um, deepest recesses. So all like the lines of the muscles, between the fingers, and then the deepest parts of the face. Now this can be a bit tricky to paint around the face. And you see that um, we haven't got a perfect layer on the face, but it doesn't matter because we're going to go over most of this apart from the deepest recesses anyway. And of course the skin is a long way at this stage still from its final sort of base colour even. This is still quite a, still quite a dark colour compared to the overall look. As you can see it's going really thin and I'm going to do a couple of layers of this and just build that colour up. It's always best to be just have thin layers and subtle highlights when you're doing skin, especially with females as well. So really just take your time and just build that up. So here she is after that first um I'm gonna call that highlight, we're only sort of really working up to the base coat still at this stage. Now I would like to point out as well that um I didn't mention earlier that this miniature has been primed with a grey primer. Um, the miniatures themselves are quite um, grey, like a grey resin, so um, it's not a different change, not a very different change to um, the original colour on them. You can, of course, um, prime them white or black, and the base coat will go over black quite well. So I just thought I'd mention that, as I forgot to previously. I also apologise if anyone noticed that my finger's a bit yellow. So, um, I'm actually working on the Rumble Slam ring that I'm painting up at the same time as well. And um, the yellow I was airbrushing is very runny. <laughs> so, anyway, we're going to move on. 
So we're going to take the same mix we've just used, but this time we're going to add a little bit of Cadian Flesh Tone to it. So with this Cadian Flesh Tone, that's going to start building us up to the more sort of olive skin that we're sort of aiming for here. And this will, this layer should end up being our base layer. And then um, I've sort of mixed in a little bit. I'll show you my palette there. That's the... Um, no, this is the colour. Actually, there we go. That's the colour I'm sort of using here. So, um, I might even add a little bit more of the Elysian green into it. Just a tiny bit. Really, um, I just eyeball it quite a lot. Um, there's no right or wrong when it comes to painting. Not really. Obviously, if she ends up looking blue, then... And you go for a lot of skin, then yeah, obviously not. But, um... When it comes to mixing paint, it's just a case of eyeballing it. You don't have to get your mix mixes exact, as long as it's sort of roughly what you're going for. I'm sure many of you know anyway. Um, we're doing pretty much the same thing here. Um, nice and thinned out again. And as you can see, this will certainly need um, at least two coats. The reason I did the last layer is it just provides us a little bit um, of a gradient between the deeper recesses and the sort of the shadowy areas. But this is sort of the main colour going on now. As you can see, it's, it's slightly more olive and slightly more tanned than. Caucasian skin, which is exactly what we want. I find olive skin is a really interesting um, skin tone to paint it, and hopefully it will look really nice by the end. So I will continue working around on the miniature, and then I will be back. Okay, so now you can see that layer is dried, and. It has dried down a bit more subtle. As you know, um, when you apply thin coats of paint, they look quite bright as they first go on, but then they do um, settle down. So, um, although it's not as smooth as the transitions, we are still getting um, some nice um, shadow colour, as long as, as well as a nice base coat. So. Next I'm going to take the same mix, but I'm, I've added in a little bit of Kislev Flesh. So there's, there's like four different colours in the mix now. Um, it really is a case of just mixing them to get a sort of um, lighter tone. And I prefer to do it this way and I'm just simply using a different colour, because that way you sort of keep... You sort of just sort of keep the highlights sort of quite... Sort of uniform, really. Sort of like keep the same sort of tones in there. As well as adding some lighter ones. So what I'm doing now is um this sort of like a second base coat really um I wanted this to be a bit lighter than the previous step and that's that's quite a nice colour that we got with the base coat but I think uh sort of overall skin is gonna be a bit lighter. And if that makes the shadows too dark for you um you could always glaze over them but as I do fair um sort of subtle shadows sometimes um I don't know this sort of skin it's nice to have sort of the darker ones as well. So it helps sell that olive skin effect a bit more. Even though sort of with the highlights in this base coat she's almost almost sort of Caucasian. Again that will that will dry a lot darker than this so that'll give us a nice a nice look on base coat. But again um, as I said it's all new to me so I'm sort of experimenting here with the colours. You could skip a couple of the steps and then um, I'm just sort of showing you sort of what I'd do to achieve that sort of colour. Mixing in the greens and the browns etc. And you see it's coming it's giving us a nice sort of skin colour now. I might work up higher. Obviously we don't want too much of these sort of 
you could glaze over some of the transitions and that'll give you some really nice smooth blends which I might may do but again that'll be two thin coats of this colour and that's give us a really nice sort of olive skin look and then the next step will certainly just be one or two highlights for sure and here she is after that layer so yeah we're now getting a nice sort of tanned skin now uh, it's quite a nice quite a nice tone actually, I quite like that. So we just need to well, add some subtle highlights to the skin now and some extra highlights to the face. So I'm just going to add a little bit more Kislev Flesh to the mix and again we're going to keep the paint nice and thin and this will be a highlight. So I might even add just a tiny bit more of the Elysian Green into it. So if you're listening, green doesn't really um, take over the skin too much. It just sort of mutes it a little bit. And um, I'll just put a little bit too much. So we'll go back with the original mix. Um, sorry, um, I will show you guys my palette. Because it's a bit messy, but let's mix some of that. Just mix some of that up. Uh, this is a great video, I'm sorry, right, okay. So, that might be a bit too green, but we'll see how it goes on. So this is a more messy palette, um, you can see the different tones we've been using. Now going into this highlight, um, sort of just on the edge here. And that's why I put a bit too much green in, but now I've sort of put some more Kiss Love in. So that's going to be our highlight. So bit less on the brush. I'm thinking of just catching the top of the legs. I'm going to actually water it down even further because I really just want to almost glaze this on. And I can always add some more if I want extra highlights. This is a lot lighter now. But we're going to catch the tops of the legs like this. And when you're glazing, a lot of people make the mistake of having too much paint on the brush. Um, I'm guilty of that as well. Um, that's the amount of paint on the brush basically dictates um, whether you end up doing a glaze or a shade. Um, if you have too much paint on the brush, that's when your paint will start to run into the recesses and that's not what you want. So of course, got to be very careful with this highlight because we don't want to highlight her up too much that she ends up just looking Caucasian. Of course, this will dry uh, a lot um, darker than this, so I'm just going to catch our shins as well. And uh, on the back, we'll catch the back of the legs. And this is more of a stylized sort of highlighting, um, maybe a little bit zenital, but really I'm just more just catching some raised areas. Of course, where you put the highlights is entirely up to you, as long as you're <laughs> catching raised and higher surfaces, of course. I'm just going to do them like this. And as you can see, it's starting to dry now, so it's looking a lot more subtle. And just having that little bit of Elysian green in there just helps sort of sell that effect of the green undertones of the olive skin. Um, it needs to be very subtle, because um, we don't want to turn her into an orc. Um, but, yeah, I'm quite... I'm quite liking this. As I said, um, this is the first time I've had sort of painted olive skin in this way, but I thought I'd film it as I try it with you guys. So um, any mistakes I've made, um, you can see what I do to fix them. Speaking of which, I did do a very thin glaze of the previous mix, just on her like recesses as well, so they're slightly darker. So I'll just continue as I've been babbling on quite a lot in this video, I'll just continue to do the rest of these highlights. And then we're going to do one final highlight and a little bit of glaze just on the face. Okay, so she is almost completed now. Um, I'm going to take some flayed one flesh and just add it to the previous mix. Now I know um, I've literally just been adding to the same mix over and over again. Um, if you get to a point where your paint might have dried up, then um, just so you can go back in the video and try and come up with the mixes I've come up with. I've literally um, 
literally just sort of adding in progressively lighter skin colours for each um, step. So of course we started with the Doom Ball and the Elysian, then we added in some Cajun Flesh Tone, then we added Kizzler Flesh and now we added in um, Flayed One Flesh just to make things lighter. So with this highlight, again we're keeping the paint thin, and by having the paint quite thin on your palette it obviously doesn't dry up as fast. You could of course if you're just using a wet palette you'll have no trouble um, at all. So. Certainly want to catch the knees with this highlight. Again, the paint's nice and thin, almost to a glaze consistency. Um, I probably should have done that throughout, as we'd had um, more subtle highlights, but I am quite liking how she's looking now. We are also just going to catch just the edges of um, her muscles. Just on her belly there. A little bit under the armpit. Um, of course, we'll do the um, raised pat on her face, just on her nose, just her lips, just above her eye, and just on her cheek. And again, it will dry more subtle than this. And then, lastly, I will just do her fingers. And there's just one tiny little step that I want to do before we can call her finished. Okay, so the last thing I just want to do is just add a little bit of redness to her che cheeks. And we are talking the ones on her face. <laughs> and I'm going to take some Waz Dago Red. And I'm going to thin this right down, like, very, very watered down. Because this is going to be a glaze. But it's going to be very, very, very thin transparent clays because we don't want our cheeks to be painted red we just want them to have a very subtle red hue so this is almost like water very little amount on the brush and I'm just gonna paint it onto her cheek like so now a bit of glazes if if that isn't enough redness for you then once that layer is dry then just do another layer and just build it up, um, which is what, what I'll do. And I might even just add a little bit just around her lips. Now, I know the face um, doesn't look spectacular, um, this is just a very sort of stylized way of highlighting on the face, but like um, it does um, still let all the sort of highlights pop from a distance, which is um, why I sometimes paint um, faces this way. So yeah, um, that is her complete once this um, glaze is done, so it should be dry enough now for another layer. As you can see, it's starting to build up that redness quite nicely. Now of course you could add makeup, paint her eyes, etc. etc. But in this video I'm just sort of showing you how to do the skin colour, so um, I'll probably do that sort of stuff off camera should I choose to do it. Okay, so here she is, and I've just painted her hair black. And um, it just uh, yeah, just sort of helps um, sell the um, darker skin a little bit more. Of course, um, people with um, naturally sort of tanned looking skin usually have dark hair, and I think they complement each other quite well. So yeah, um, that is how I painted olive skin. Again, um, it's just sort of a sort of trial and error sort of thing for me. It's the first time I've sort of tried to paint it in this sort of style. I'm really happy of actually actually of how she's came out. And um, once I've added some more details to her face and that I think her face will look um, really nice. She always looks a bit funny when sometimes when you don't have the eyes painted they do look a bit strange. But um really nice miniature to paint. First time I've painted anything for Rumble Slam as well and I, I do quite like the quality of their miniatures so um the game looks pretty fun as well. And I will just turn around as well. Now there's not as many highlights on the back of her legs and I think that that actually sells the tanned look a little bit better than the front. Um, sometimes, you know, um, even sort of realistic highlights can sometimes lose the sort of effect you're going for. But no, I'm really happy with how she's turned out. And I hope you guys are too. Um, I hope this will at least be useful for some of you. And I do plan on doing some other tutorials on painting the skin 
as well. So I'll probably do like a brown skin. And um, there's plenty of videos on how to paint Caucasian skin out there, and even brown. But um, I'll show you my way of doing it because um, I have a few little ideas as well that I'd like to just throw in. Always try and do things slightly differently, especially with um, just how many videos there are on the internet these days. Um, it's always better to look at many different ways of doing things, I find. So yeah, um, I have babbled on so much in this video and I do apologise, um, it's probably quite long for a simple little painting tutorial. But I will stress, um, you know, there's no right or wrong way about painting this stuff, so if, um, you know, if you have any other ideas of how to paint this sort of skin, then certainly go for it. You don't have to follow this by the letter. As we've seen, there's a couple of steps that we probably could even have gone without, but I've really enjoyed painting her. And I do love just um, mixing up paints and trying something different. Um, it's great fun. I suggest everyone sort of try and sort of do that in their painting if they don't already. Because, um, you know, you get some really good effects and I'm really happy with how her skin's turned out. So, yeah. So, as always, um, I am going to stop babbling, I promise. If, you, <laughs> if you've enjoyed this video, um, please like and subscribe. We have a Patreon as well. Um, almost all our painting tutorials and even most of our bat reps now are going on Patreon um, a week or two early than they arrive on YouTube. So, um, if you want to see them early, um, just a dollar a month. That's all you need. And you can see all our videos on Patreon as soon as we put them up. So, thank you so much for watching, and I really hope you have enjoyed this video. And I will see you all again very soon.